what we have done till now is covered first normal form and second normal form and now we are going to see about third normal form again the approach would be same that we don't know about third normal form and there would be a practical scenario created and we'll try to understand what third normal form means now what happens in order to save myself from the confusion where two customers would have same name i created one more column that's called customer number Now, since I've created it over here, and it's in the static part of the order details, so I have to add it in order master. I added a column in order master with the name customer number. Now, uh, what I understood from my business is that my business receives a lot of footfall. People come to inquire about items, but all the footfall doesn't convert into orders. So what happens is that sometimes I'm out of a stock because of a certain item, or sometimes the prices are too high because the item is new to the market, or, or there may be various reasons why a customer would only come to inquire but uh, do not conv convert the footfall into orders. Uh, but for me to really grow, I should keep a track of these customers and I should always be uh, ready that as soon as something positive or some new promotion or something new comes in them uh, with me, I should be able to inform the customer based on their requirements. And that's how I would be more closer to the customer and I would be able to convert the footfall in my showroom into orders. So what I decided that maybe the customer is not buying anything from my shop but I must keep a track of his at least phone number and address so that I can send him promotions, I can send him new year seasons greeting, I can send him any other stuff so that he, is, uh, he, he knows that uh, uh, I have a shop which I can rely upon it when buying electronic items. So with that uh, idea in mind, I thought that how I can use this particular application to store uh, the records of customer. That is primarily customer name, customer address and phone number. Now again, the thought came to my mind, create dummy orders. When I say create dummy orders, maybe customer is not buying something. So order number would be dummy, order date would be dummy, customer number, customer name, address and phone number would be real. The item selected would be dummy, the amount would be zero, there would be no discount, the quantity would be zero. Hence, I can use this application to store customer information if I try to convert that information by adding wrappers that can fit into the schema. But then I realized from my EF Courts discussion that I must not try. I must not try to convert the information by adding wrappers and adding it to the schema. It always means that there's a problem with my schema, it, there's a problem in which we are storing the data and we have to take care of that. So the next thing that came to my mind is that let me go ahead and uh, remove our customer name, customer address and phone number which are dependent on customer number only into a separate, uh, into a separate table. So I created a new table with the name customer master. And I got the fields. Customer number, customer name, customer address and phone number now order details table should only have a customer number because all other fields can be extracted from the customer number that's provided over here so I can get rid of these 
and I can also get rid of the corresponding columns in the database. Trust my number. And in order to store data in this particular table, that's the customer master table, I have to get a new screen constructed. And that screen would look like this. Customer details. It will have customer number, which would be auto-generated. Customer name. customer address and phone number and I can convert uh, this customer number field into a searchable field which will go ahead and search in this database based on the customer number and try to get me all the details for that particular customer. Now this is how I have converted my system into third noble form. Which states that if there are any non-key attributes, customer name, customer address and phone number, fully dependent on another non-key attribute, which was customer number, then you should create a new entity to store them. So we created a new entity called customer master. Over here, customer name, customer address, and phone number are fully dependent on customer number. And we link the customer master to order master through this common key called customer number. Over here, it is a foreign key. By foreign key, we mean that order master can have only those customer numbers which have been specified in the customer master table. Which, which is quite simple. Until and unless you have created a customer over here, you cannot search and put it in the order details uh, order details screen. So first you'll have to create the customer from the customer then details. Then you can search and put it against an order in order details screen. Thank you very much. Hope that clarifies to you third normal form. Uh, let's meet again and we'll discuss about more concepts on data warehousing. Thank you.